Hello, Claudius, how are you? Good morning, NK, it's been a while. Mr. Marina, how are you? E-boy John, Mr. Silla. We need to have an honest conversation, conversation with self, conversation with each other, conversation with us, the Gambians. This is a Gambian affair and a Gambian issue. First, if the old constitution, our current constitution, was all well and good, we won't be talking about having a new constitution. Babu Karmanka, how are you? Secondly, if Yaya Jame was serving a purpose, we would not have had an election that booted him out and booted him out unceremoniously. And that in itself is the reason why we said we're going to have a new constitution, a constitution that speaks for the people called the Gambia or Gambians, a constitution that guarantees the rights of the Gambian, a constitution that gives us an equitable social contract whereby each and every Gambian has access to opportunity economically, politically, and socially. Having said this, after the demise, I won't call it demise because Yaya Jame is still alive, after the fall of Jame, we decided that one of the most fundamental and important pillars is the rebuilding of institutions of states. And we cannot build institutions of state if we don't have a guiding document and a principle called a, document, um, a constitution. The government of the Gambia and the people of the Gambia spent in excess of over a hundred million dollars to make sure that we have a draft that the citizenry can debate, discuss, and ultimately send to a referendum to make sure that we have a unanimous decision as it relates to our guiding principles as a people. Well, unless, once again, Gambians, we are myopic, or we suffer from amnesia, or we are indifferent. We saw what President Barrow and his enablers did in killing the very draft that we have spent so much to get on going. And now, after killing it, that's why Nyangai in Wolof said, Bunyangu President Baro Rey Nyu Beparedinu Jale. Why did I say that? We knew that the invincible hands that killed the draft constitution did it for one thing and one thing only personal self-interest, not the collective good. We were not fighting over principles that affected an overwhelming majority of people. We were fighting on principle of how long someone can stay in office. That's not what the Gambian wants. And if Nyangjai happens to have it his way, no Gambian will be a president for more than one term of seven years. And that way, if we happen to have a blunder, we'll live with the blunder. After the blunder, you are no longer... If you know that you are not going to run for re-election, you will try and leave a legacy behind. But that's a topic for another day. What we need to know and discuss today is, the problem is not Doi that abstained. It's not the parties that went to Nigeria or civil society. The problem is Adam Oboro and his cabal of enablers. And up and until we square in and zero into that problem, I guess we are further dividing all of us who need to galvanize our resolve to make sure that the people's voices are heard. President Barrow need to be told that we the Gambian reign supreme. President Barrow need to be told he is nothing but a mere servant of the people. They have hoodwinked Gambians into believing that the constitution as is, is about this camp or that camp. What a shame that we all bought into that bogus, bogus and gullible ideology that's not true. The president and his team cares less about our social contract. The president and his team cares less about protecting the rights of Gambians because no one is talking about the secular 
um, secularism issue that was there. We are not talking about many other things that we put in there, the diaspora having the right to vote. What we are talking about will affect no more than 100 Gambians for the next 30 years. We will not have more than 100 Gambians running for four electoral cycles as president. So 100 Gambians over 2 million Gambians. But the architect in chief is one person and one person alone, the president. We need to bring the discourse and the debate back to the center. And what is the center? The center as is, is that the president need to respect the Gambian. The president need to respect the struggles of the Gambian over the past 50 odd years, especially the last 20 years. We have suffered and suffered too long and too much for one person to look at his narrowly defined interests and want to cage us within the parameters of those interests. We are either stupid collectively as Gambians, I'm sorry, that's Nyang Jai's way of speaking. We either stupid or we are falling victim for another dumb somebody to tell us what the topic is. President has conveniently moved the topic from a constitutional killer to a constitutional resurrector, which is not true. And we Gambians, that's the first thing we must not allow. He is changing the narrative and he is changing it so fast and the critical mass that should come together and point fingers at him and tell him what he ought to do for the people are so divided on semantics. No one should blame Doi, like I said, because people must be principled. And I think, I for one, respect Halifa Salah and his team for not taking part in something that was a dead end. There was no light at the end of the tunnel that good luck Jonathan was brought in to bring. Why? Fundamentally first, once again, a Gambian affair needs a Gambian solution. This is a Gambian problem and it will be fixed by Gambians because ultimately it's us who's going to decide. That's number one. Number two, the president, either he doesn't believe in the transition, well, I can safely say he doesn't believe in the transitional program we've set because the very transitional pillars of this administration, other than the TRRC, have all failed. Failed because it lacked the courage. What's the courage? Enablers of Jame are still blue-eyed boys in this system. That must stop and it needs to stop. But bringing it closer to the Constitution, the President and his cabal are the problems of Gambians and are the problem of this Constitution. So please, let no one blame Doi, let no one blame a UDP or any other group of Gambians who want the President. Dafko Tufli, Namarat Tufli Tam. You see, people need to understand where power lies. People need to understand their strength in numbers. People need to understand that we are the boss of President Adama Baro. And is our way or for him the highway? And when will we as Gambians understand the magnitude of our strength? The magnitude of our strength. The magnitude of the Gambian strength needs to be exercised. So that the people, the political class, put respect in our name and nationality as Gambians. They are disrespecting us, disrespecting us in the sense that they are playing games with us, they are playing games with our lives, and guess what? They are riding on our backs to get a better life at the expense of the greater good. So who is stupid? Them or the masses of Gambians? And it's the masses of Gambians who need to do something to stop this. President Barrow needs to be stopped on his track. And right now, I can tell you where this thing is going. We will have a talk, and the talk will be the campus and the vous. We will talk about this, and the more we talk about this constitution, the window closes. When the window closes, we will have an election. When we have an election, we are not going to have an election based on what we want, but we may end up having an election based on what is possible. 
and what is possible may be detrimental to our collective good in the medium to long term. I will tell Gambians one thing. Everything we are suffering today is because of one person, Adam Abaro. Why? We all agreed we had a problem and that's why we booted Jame out. And since we booted Jame out, we wanted impartiality. Someone that will come in and will not punish any Jame sympathizer or supporter. So long as your hands are clean of blood and our money. But guess what? This particular referee called Adam Abaro, who was supposed to usher in a genuine, sincere, clean transformation in a transitional government or program, has now decided he wants to be a player. I don't mind him being a player, but if he wants to play, he cannot hold the whistle as the referee anymore. And this is the folly of the Gambian. How can we allow someone who wants to be in the playing field to have a say and a control of how this game and the parameters of this game is going to be? This is why I am saying we as Gambians are either indifferent to our plight or we are part of our problem and we should not be part of our problem because we have suffered for far too long and very soon my generation will understand that our sun is setting not that we are getting old we need to prepare the next generation of Gambians and give them a better country than we lived in if not we have failed them and right now that's the trajectory we are taking and that is serious and that is scary and that's why all conscientious Gambians must get up wise up and rise up to the occasion that the Constitution is the Alpha and Omega of our existence and it is what is going to identify who we are what we stand for and what our aims and objectives as a people are this is so sacred that we must fight and be prepared to die for this document. And how are we going to fight? We are not going to ask people to take arms or anything. That's not what we want. What we want is to make sure that collectively as Gambians, we understand where power lies. Power lies in us. Why should we allow ourselves to be hoodwinked? by someone that we are most likely smarter than. Guys, we have been taking for a ride. And the person that's taking us for a ride, we are not stupid. What's wrong with us? This is not a political issue. The draft constitution goes beyond politics. It goes to the heart and soul of our civic responsibility. Our Gambianness. Our pride and dignity as a people. And if our pride and dignity as a people is about to be bruised by someone who doesn't care about your pride and dignity, you need to rise up. And in rising up, that's when a citizen is doing duty and honor to country. The time has come for us Gambians to do duty and honor to our country because country has given us so much. But you know what? We are bickering about mundane issues that are so irrelevant. Halifa Salah is not our problem. Lawyer Usainu Dabo, as it stands today, is not our problem. Our problem is one person and one person alone. Our commander-in-chief, our citizen-in-chief, our champion-in-chief, who should have been at the driver's seat and the driver's steering wheel, steering the, you know, the car, our constitution, to where we wanted it for clean passage so that Gambians will have an equitable social contract to make sure we can move together collectively as one nation under God. That's what Gambians expect. This president is not championing our document. He is mute. This president is part of the reasons why this document is where it is and it has to stop. Do we respect ourselves as Gambians? Do we have pride in ourselves as Gambians? Do we have conscience, conviction of courage, 
to say that this constitution must not, made, must not be made a destitute by selfish politicians. Or I will only say politician because it's the president who should make this happen. The president was voted in to give us a new dawn. And a new dawn cannot be given if the president is yet to utter his mouth and tell legislatures, let's do whatever it takes to make sure this constitution passes. Guys, open your eyes and understand that Gambians are not fools, but let us not be deviated from the subject. The subject is who killed the draft? Why was the draft killed? Why should we have a compromise? You see, as people, we need to be principled. It's, Adam Abaro can lose election next um, election cycle. So the 15 years he wants, he may not even get. But that's not the issue here, Gambians. The issue is we must be steadfast and be principled to say, no, you are not going to thread on our backs. We refuse. And we should and we must. We must refuse for him to do what he wants, even if he's going to lose the election. We should be proud we should be steadfast. We should be resolute that, Mr. President, it's our way or the highway. And this time, it has to be our way because Solo Sandeng didn't die for nothing. Femi Peters didn't meet his ultimate death for nothing. The heroes that were out on the streets when Barrow was not out, number one, Number two, some of his cabal today that are enabling him were not out. It's a mockery to who we are. And this is what people need to see. Forget about the, pot uh, the politics and the partisanship in this constitution. The issue is not the constitution. Uh, Astaghfirullah. It's not the politicians. It's now us, the Gambians. Nune dom famo ne hendaya moy fam joge am fulla ak faida da fa jot nak ñun gambien ci ñu am fulla ak faida lan motax mané dañ wara am fulla ak faida dañ sofa yaga sofa bala jawara suñ mami dañ sofa that's why edward francis small mu jok du waxtu babbi no taxation without representation hex bi yaga na fi ñi am jom yaga nañ ci dekk Take gachi gala ma nyinga hamne yaga ne nyota hawdi he hal sen reo. Nyut dem, joka lan te jawara. Nyu am aindiri yo hamne swing constitution bi. Rafetut, nyu nyaw luko. Nyu nyaw, amad benen kan, yaya jame, benen juma. Lan len fi am, public order act, nyu toro hal ay domi reo. Desolo sandeng nyaka chi bakenam. Nyu dem sani karta, gene fi yaya jame, nyu ne nyeti yef, lenyo def. Dinen weki dohalini ngurgi. Moe nyu degeral bang hasi nguri. Legislature bi, executive bi, judiciary bi. Nakalenko degerale, moe nyu degeral lua reumi. Lua reumi nakalenko ligeye, moe nyu am constitution bu es. Nyarel nyifire aine nyu jeflante joko lante nyom. Nyatel nyifi yaha khali si ngurgi nyu jeflante joko lante nyom. Wai nyata yi yep, dafamel ni nasa khal nenko. Wai nak. Can what say blame politician? Responsibility be nyun la Gambian. Politician da fa bindu, bindan la. Bindu bi do a ferry where bu de. Then you gain a hotel ko. Te swing koi hotel. Then you do gasi funyu oye bang gacha mui polling boot. Nyun la ak yala ak swing conscience. Nyu said king ko buga joh nyu joh koko. Ganao, Adam Obaro. Ben na wah na wahet. Nyun nangul nen koko. Wan na nyu fan la ngoram em. Ak bugam rewam fan la em. Digan tema yalla la. Lima yu wah nitni tujur moine. Religion contract la between nit ak yalla. Why conscience contract la between yo sa hell ak sa ngegenay. Adam abarona baye nengko ngegenayam. Suitere guri muhalat. Set fan la nyu dugal. Fan la nyu yobu. Ndak nyun or nengko. Ndak mom or nengyu. Lichides baye na koko. Te nyun yal nanyu yalla atek mom. Ti boba. Defna lim buga. Wa nyun tami sun chono, sun mebet. Iwer nen ko yala. Linyu chi nahari, iwer nen ko yala. Wa na constitution bi yala yala yaga beisa tol. 
ñun ñoo wara jog ne constitution ni gambia bi daf ñu wara jaral suñ li 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 ndikte domi rew da nga wara am fulla domi rew da nga wara am jom domi rew da nga wara taxawal sa rew domi rew da nga wara xex kuy nasahal sa rew constitution draft bi ku ko rey rek nasahal nga gambia te ku nasahal gambia gambian ci dañ wara jok wonte ak yow naka lañuy jok wonte ñom moy ñu jok ñu won ko fan la doole teda ñun ñoy borom doole ñun nit ñi dikte ñun ñoy taba ñun ñoy fal ñun ñoy tana kay tana nak moy buri bur ñun ñoy bur ñoy bumi ñoy dok ñoy dogal ki dok di dogal moy buri bur ñun ñoy buri bur ñun gambian ci gannaaw ñoy buri bur dafa am luñu wara nangu ak luñu wara bañ ñun suñ maam yi mu suñu tumu ranké dik té ay bañ kat lañ ñun suñ maam yi dañ dekkon ci negi crinting way buguñ ku leen yab ñun suñ maam yi ay ba dolla lañ won way dañ amoon fulla am fayda té do leen xol seen bot wax leen lu leen neexut kon nak nañ leen délo boom bi ci mboy mboy ni ñu tégat ko ci fañ ko wara tek mel nañ wara mel doon ñañ wara doon bu boba kenn duñu yab nit nak bu démé bé yab la sa bot la ko gis té fu mé ka boti gambien bi ni mel mara deytane ñaawna lutax mu ñaaw dafa jël dignité am jël pride am jël déret am jël donam jël askanam jaay ko ngir wéccité aduna waxu bala alali aduna dé wéccité aduna wéccité aduna na taxna gambien bi gomatu dara jaratu dara waye dafa jot billahi ak waxtu bi ñu délo suñu hel délo suñu hala sét ñun nak ñi nga xamné ñu ngi suñu ron suñu doomi ak suñu jarbaati ndax ñun fiya nañ ak ñoom bu féké né ansa bi moy né ñun fiya wu ñok ñoom war nañu sét nu ñuy joggé ñu liggéeyal suñu réew ku liggéeyal sa réew sa bop nga liggéey comme ni comme mouride di waxé jëf jël boko jëfé da nga koy jëlaat ku liggéeyal sa réew sa bop nga liggéeyal ku taxawal sa réew sa bop nga taxawal ku fi nasahal sa réew nak yo sa deret jarul dara sa askan yaha nga ko sa dignity ak sa pride abadan jaro fi dara kon nak waru ñoo nangu ñu nek ño xamne dañoo nasaxal suñu rew kon ganaaw li moy wax gi nañ leen tegat constitution bi fiñ ko wara tek fiñ ko wara tek nak liko faak yobu moy gambian si ñu jog waxante dega te suñuy wax dega buñ ko wax parliament parliament bu joxe dinañ jëflanté ñom fu mu na adama baro sét nu mo défé lañ mom té ñu génné ci suñu xaliss lu passé téméri million pour liggéey ko ñu délo ko té négi député yi ci négi askan bi ñu sét ñun bu boba ñu ñoy jëflanté wa bi yoon la passé passé na waye nak dina leen wax léna fi ku fi tok né ci biir négi député nga ñu indi wa fa suñu constitution ñun nit ñi ñen né da ngeen ko fa gagal dinañ leen won nak fan la doole dika ñu ne doom bala mo ne ndeyam bes ba jot fu mu nek bes bi du bes ci ten du du arama baro pour mu prepare wat suñu document mu sét naka la ñuko délo ye fam wara délo ñu reintroduce sa ñuko document bi ni du té ni du full stop ni du dara nañ ko jëlat package ko ba pare ñu sét nuñ ko fast tragger loi bu fi am rek nit moko liggéey té loi bu nit liggéey mu nañu ko sa compte so affaire gazette tek ko ñuy xaarat ay wër yépp waxi chaahan la na adama baro jël suñu document reintroduce al ñuko sa parliament ba bu ko fay reintroduce boba nak ndey dina xamne amna dom te boba dom dina neex ndeyam yeen nit te parliament ku fa hey te carte tek la fa waxuma nominated member de ku fa hey te carte tek la fa billahi ak waxtu bi di nga xam fan la doole deka bena ngeen def li nit ñi buga muy adama baro muy parliament bi o nit ñi dinañ def luñ buga te nit ñi buñ defé luñ buga ñax du fa saxé lu opa touru nañ leen bay wax gi du khalifa sala khalifa du problème gambia si si constitution bi lay wax dé waxi constitution bi waxuma affaire politique lolu sen ciobéré la ak sen gis gis ku mé way ci waxum li ñuy wax tay khalifa du problème gambia bi ousaynu dabo du problème gambia bi problème gambia bi on this particular issue 
Kenala, 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 and Kenna Koku, Moy Ben and Nit, right now. Adama Baro, Adama Baro, then Kowara Jeflante Mom, Wako Dega, Deflante Mom, Nujar Yon. Liffy help, we yon, Lee Waruta Am, Damoko Nyaulu, Ten Yunyep, then Kowara Nyaulu, Telita Nuiko Nyaulu, Nungi Chahat Chahate, Nun King Don. The President must put back dignity where dignity belongs and that is to dignify the Gambian. Dignifying the Gambian is respecting what the Gambian went through on the Jame. And that's why we said we need a document that will give us equity and social protection under the law. And Mr. President, wachanga sa anda te Gambian bula ko wahut nahnala sa buga buga na jelko sula nehe nga buga fe top fi be 50 years lolu sa digante ak sa conscience la way di nala wahal lena ñun mun nga ñon nax way do nax yalla te du yalla rek be do nax sa conscience yow ki ci bir waxuma jema ji de jema ji mom lolu mom fi mi show la rek comme hollywood way li ci bir fi mo tax ñu nit nit du mbuba nit jikola ak jeff Jeff ye jiko yi nak comme account daf dey reconcile bopam te bo tedé motax ñu né day waxtaan ak sa ngégé nay adama baro waxtaan ak sa ngégé nay so waxtaané sa ngégé nay da nga xalaat né demba amon na té demba gambien ci dañ la jëlé fu sori yalla nak ñu dañ la ko nangul yaay suñ jit té yow la fi yalla tek té lolu mo né yalla waye li néxud yalla moy orate bi li néxud yalla moy jal gatigi li neexut yalla moy fa gagal gambien ci li neexut yalla moy jeul gambien ci jappelen ay mbam duñ mbam adama baro delul sa hel delul sa halat nga nekat nit neka nit moy jef kom nit lan moy jef kom nit halat li nga xamne moy li gën ci askan bi askani gambia tay li gën ci mom moy ñu fi ray nit luwa jeflante ñom ñu fi yaaha alali rewmi luwa jeflante ñom document bu ñu oyé constitution ñu am ko lu melni public order act du fi amat bu boba gambien bi am doole gambien bu am doole moy sa jama gambien bu nasa du sa jama dik te gambien bu nasa moy indi social chaos social chaos nak buguñ ko fi te yal na bum ñu jégué waye lum ñu du jégé ñe moy good leadership leadership bo xamné dafa selfless you cannot be selfish if you want to be a public servant ku dem bene dafa buga ligéyal askan dafa wara yaatu ku dem bene dafa buga ligéyal askan dafa wara jital nit ñi ku dem bene dafa buga ligéyal askan nit ñi daf ko wara ñor waye ño xamné bu ba yu rafet moto yu rafet kër yu rafet té du ci sen dono bay du ci sen business bo ci ganaaw ba dola bi yalla nañu atelé ku ko fi def nak yalla di nañu até ku ko fi mus di def rek yalla di nañu até and this thing has to stop we need to understand we the general public the citizenry of this country we have more power than his excellency the president we are more powerful than all the political parties combined we are more powerful than the chief justice and his bench. We are more powerful than the army, the police, the NIA, the immigration, prison, everything. Because they derive power from us. We are sovereign people. You cannot be sovereign and you allow yourself to be subservient to your servant. That is stupidity at the highest. And we people are not stupid. But I think we are lazy, we are lethargic, and to a large extent, we are indifferent to our collective good. And this is what we need to stop. We need to tell the president that we want our draft to be reintroduced. Laws are made by man. Let's not wait for 60 days for it to be gazetted. Let us have a fast track so that we will have a window to do everything we ought to do from registration, from
from who is a citizen, who is qualified to have a voter's card, to a referendum and ultimately to an election. This is what we need to tell the president. And about the parliamentarians, this is not the time for us to talk about the parliamentarians because once a draft is put back there, I can safely assure you, Gambians, that what happened the first time around will not happen again. Never again will that happen. We were caught off guard and we will never be caught off guard because this document goes beyond an election. This document goes towards our way of life, towards our identity, towards our aspirations and vision, and also towards our protection. So any one of you watching Gambian and you decide to fold your hands and be indifferent, you are not a good citizen. You are not a dignified Gambian. You should not be proud to call yourself a Gambian because someone is maiming, someone is raping your constitution and you're folding your arms and watching. That is wrong. It must not be accepted. It should not be accepted and it should not be the way forward. The way forward is for all of us to leave the politicians minus Adam Abaro. Forget about Halifa, Husseinu, Ismail Sise. Forget about them. Nyun kena len amalwah. Ndeyim bila minga hamne mom len joh lenge reumi. King denka lenge reumi. Mom len wara wahal neko li du fi am monut fe am te waru fe am. That's all we need and that's what Gambians need to do. What the f is going on with us? That's what I want to ask. I'm sorry for the French I was about to use, but I know there may be kids watching and I don't want to use certain words. But all I am saying, power lies with the people. Power belongs to the people. The Gambian is a sovereign state owned by sovereign independent people. And these independent people must not allow political machination by selfish, self-centered egomaniacs to hijack our collective good. If they want to hijack our collective good, we must rise up and wise up and do what is right and take care of our nation. I, Nyangja, is thanking everyone who took their time to watch, but I want to motivate each and every one of us to get up and do what is right. I want to motivate each and every one of us to do the right thing for country. And doing the right thing for country is getting up and make sure that Gambia reigns supreme. When Gambia reigns supreme, it means we are at the helm. When we are at the helm, our presidents can be our servants. Then our servants can work for us. You cannot be a servant slash master. And today, Adam Abaro is trying to be a master. When was the last time you heard Adam Abaro open his mouth and talk about our destitute constitution? Not once. And he should be the champion in chief to make sure that this constitution passes. He should be the one to make sure that this constitution happens to have a lifeline. When this constitution failed, he didn't address the nation. When he was about to introduce the constitution to the assembly, he didn't even call the assembly members and ask for their support. Therefore, he never supported it. And how can he be our servant when we have tasked him of a task? He refused to do it and wants to do what he wants to do. And yet still you Gambians cannot see that no one else is the problem but that one person. Let us put politics aside. Let us put personalities aside. And hold Adam Abaro accountable and responsible for his dereliction of duty as it relates to this constitution. If not, we have all failed. And if we all failed, we have nothing to show or tell the next generation of Gambians. It means we are good for nothing and I think we are better than good for nothing. If we are better than good for nothing, it's time for action. And that action is to show Adam Abaro who we are and what we want and what we want is what we expect him to do. The time has come.
Thank you, Gambia. May God bless the Gambia. And may sanity prevail in the way we think and the way we conduct our public discourse. I think we have really boxed in the issue of this constitution to a place where it shouldn't be, i.e. partisanship. The constitution is not for UDP, it's not for NPP, it's not for Citizen Alliance, it's not for DOI, it's for Gambians and the protection and advancement of the Gambian interest. If the Gambian interest is to be protected and to be advanced, it is blind of partisanship. Therefore, let us come together as one Gambia, one people, and show Adam Abaro what we want and what we want is what he will do. Forget about lawyer Dabo, Halifa Salah, or these people are not the problem and we have bought into the bait. Adam Abaro gave us a bait and all of us bought this bait. Adam Abaro is not smarter than us, but his game plan is winning. Thanks to people like you and me. Because he is shifting the burden. He is shifting the responsibility. And now we are putting the responsibility where it doesn't belong. The responsibility belongs in the, to the executive to put this document where it ought to be. Then the people will decide. Because it's a people's document. A people's document needs consensus from the people. Hence the reason we will have a referendum on this document. If not, we are nowhere, and that's not where I expect us to be. So wise up, Gambians. Rise up to the occasion. This is an occasion for you, for me, for all of us to show Mother Gambia that she is not a destitute. This is an only occasion in a lifetime because maybe after this, there will not be another constitution for God knows. Therefore, let us rise up and show Mother Gambia that she gave us so much and we are going to give her back multiple of what she gave us. Da fa nyaw nak nyuwara tok bay suñ bopa tay ñu ñoo tumu ranké lo suñ bi rew pour intéresser nit ñoo xamné bari wuñ mu ngi na contenir ak loxo waruñ ko nangu ñun suñ mami ay bañ kat lañ won suñ papa yi sax ay bañ kat lañ won waye ñun nangu na ñoo tumu ranké ngir aléli aduna man day ñang jaay fa won la won be tay adama baro dañ wara jok won ko ne ñun ñotax mu am su du doon ñun du am ganaaw yalla ganaaw yalla dama ko nangul dama nangu ne yalla mo ne adama barola te adama barola neka te man sax dama ko sopotone pour mu neka te retu mako nik te miki maw sa jamana joju moma gena lon yaaya jame waye nak fecci na kolare or nañu te nax nañu waye nak lolu digante mak yalla la man day merew mako ci dikte buga buga am la tek mu faté kolere gi bobu digante ak yalla la waye li nga xamné nak du problème yalla problème suma man la ak yow ñun gambien ci suñ constitution bobu yalla hédjuk ci dé yalla né soma toñé ma balal la sa morom nak bu la toñé nga dem ci mom constitution bi nak is between us ñu ni nén ñu ñi tenk rew mi ñuy oyé gambie kon nak nañ len jog buñ jogut suñ doomi dina ñu ré té waru ñoo nangu suñ doomi réñu man day ma ngi rôle suma slave lima ci mun dina ko def waye nak dañ soxla a critical mass of like-minded gambians who are willing to move and shift the goal posts li fi neewon munu ta continuer li am munu ta continuer dafa wara daga dafa wara daga is nga doole ndenkane la ndenkane ñako denka ñoko mom ñun ño wara jok ñu wax baro dega nañ leen bay masla gi gis nga fi ku fi top baro wi 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 sen post lañ fi nekkal sen interest ak sen daraja 
man nak wahuma ken fi nga buga sani lolu sen choice la waye lima len buga wa rek ku buga rew mi munu lo buga baro tok fi after tamam bi ku buga rew mi la wax de lita 5 ye 4 and a half years mun ko jot ci lim ñu ci won munu ta yobu rew lim ñu ci won munu ta yobu rew su fekke na ne yalla rek ay tax ñuy wax buñu ragal su election jote ku buga sanil doy sanil doy ku buga sanil ismaila sisse sie sanil ko ku buga sanil ppp su fekke na dañu taxawal candidate nga sanil ko waye lima leena ñaan ngir yalla any gambian what their sort waru ta jël cartam jox ko baro gambian bo xamné sa dekk ñorna la sa elegi dom ñorna la waru lo jël carte gi nga délo ko ci fejj jogé nit té nit jiko nit jiko dafa important karakta ana ma su féké né mën na tok ak mbolo waxtan bé d'accord mu tok wax mbolo mi né ma len ko waxon falétuma lima len wax dama def li nangul len ko ko waye nak bu len ko olo tek dara nit té won na len mom moy kan kon na gambia mi ku la won man may kan luta ngay ko olu wa diko jox gor le olof ndika wa samal sa kadu olof ndjay jogat ne gor sa kadu ga olof ndjay moko wax de mune gor sa kadu bo nyake sa kadu gore yadi nga te gore yadi bu ko nit done koku amatu elif tange man li suma mami wax lay wax de hasuma ken suma mami day newon ay nit ñu fonka sen bopa fonka sen askan fonka sen judu fonka sen deret ken du len has ken du len not ken du len tek luñ bëggut man nak ci lolu lay dunda ci te lolu lay dundal te lolu lay yone nit ñi te lolu lay jema jangal nit ñi tamit ne nañ mun suñ bopa nañ mom suñ bopa nañ gom suñ bopa nen gadu suñ bopa ñenen ci su ko nit amé do tumu ranké dikté do dem di siboru do dem di añané nit do dem di yahal nit do ñé nit mun sa bopa mom sa bopa gom sa bopa gadu sa bopa li moy doomi adama té li la olof ndjay suma mam daan wax né nit bala nga nité ga dor sa dena ne ma mom suma bopa no man is an island why first and foremost da nga mom sa bopa man nak ñang jaay dama nango mom suma bopa mom suma bopa moy ma xol adama baro ci bot ne ko adama doyu loma doyatu loma mus nga ma doy be bes ba nga jal gaté sa wax won mané sa kadu du dara ci yow nangul na la ko way nak man tamit ci li suma mami jangal lima jange ci ker gi ma joge moy doyatuloma as njit lolu nak suma raid la te raid bobu ñu melni man ñu bari nonu dañu halaté kon nak lolo tax mané adama baro ku anda helam sagom mun bopam mom bopam gom bopam duko joxat carta ku anda helam mun bopam mon bopam gom bopam ma tek ci ngar sopa sa rew do jël sa carte baye ko adama baro man day ñang jaay duma baye suma bopa adama baro aw ma nak ben problème ak mom aw ma ben xaar yalla ak mom way nak am na ben problème ak mom moy ne kadu gam ma waxon ñu tenk ko ma dem rang sanil ko carte sa kadu gogu ñu fal ko def ko president ma yakar ne dina dox ci ay dox doxu ci yal na ma yalla atek mom ci lolu waye ganaw lolu awma ci mom ben problem waye nak yen tamit jok len ñu jok mek sho suñ constitution bi du fi tumu ranké ngeen jok mek sho ne suñ constitution bi dinañ ko degeral duñ ko fi nasahal bu boba suñ yaay gambia dina ñu naw dina content ci ñun té dina xamné duñ ay doomi samedi doom yu tekki len te gambia ay dom yu tekki la wor jerejef ngeen balma aha su fekene wax gi rafetut 
waye dafa jot ñu waxante dega te dega gi ci gatal kenn rek la constitution equals to adam abaro suñ ko amé ci mom la because moy drive process bi te ganaw crc li yelo nañu draft parliament felon nañ ko ñun public bi ñung ko ñaanat nañu ko reintroduce al wholesale bu boba doom neex ndayam ñu sét ban parliamentaire yan moko vote no jerejef wassalam with gambia and from gambia with love thank you so much